Well hello guys, welcome to my latest video. So today, a bit of an update on the new bike purchase. And it's not a good update, it's a shitty update. Uh, what has happened is, uh, about six months ago I applied for a permanent residence visa. Because um, I've lived in this country for 12 years, because I've got kids and all blah 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 blah. I should be able to get myself a permanent residence visa, so I applied for it. Then it took a long time and they called me into the bloody immigration centre a few times to give them paperwork and stuff. And um, yeah, they've fucked me basically. They've only given me a one year visa. Now, that's not... What, what's bad about that is, I can't get a three year loan anymore. So after that uh, MT09 test ride, I had just, I decided there and then, as soon as I rode that beast of a bike, I was like, I am getting one of these. So I even told the bloody guy after the test ride, I was like, yeah, as soon as this uh, CBR sold, I'll be coming back to place an order. And he's like, cool, I'll be waiting for you, sir. And yeah, basically, um, I can't buy one outright, outright with cash, so I need to do a loan, and it needs to be three years. But a one-year visa doesn't, you know, you can't get a three-year loan if you've only got proof that you're, you're allowed to stay in the country for one year. Obviously, I, I'm not going to be leaving the country in a year. It's just the technicality, but yeah, that's fucked me, basically. So now, um, where I'm heading to now, I don't even know where the hell I am, to be honest. Thank God I've got a map. Uh, I'm heading out to Kuwana, which is in Mie Prefecture. And Kuwana has a main KTM dealership. And right now, they're the only dealership in the whole of Japan that's got a 990 Supermoto for sale. Like, um, there's a website called goobike.net, I think, or .com, which is basically, you know, like a, a used bike uh, website. And there's only one listed in the whole of the country. And so, luckily, it wasn't in Tokyo, you know, like, this is only an hour from, my, from where I live, so it's not a big deal. But, uh, yeah, I'm just going to go and check that out now, because, um, yeah, no loan means no expensive new bike. So, my limit is basically going to be about 400,000 yen now. So this bike will be sold on Saturday. It's on Yahoo Auctions and it's actually got bids this time. Low as hell bids, only uh, only 298,000 yen, which is a huge loss. I think the bike owes me now 430 with all the parts and stuff that I've put on it. So yeah, it, I'll be making a loss, but you know, this <laughs> this bike is just starting to, starting to piss me off. So I, I even if I make a, a little bit of a loss, I'll still sell it. I think I 350,000 will do because that'll allow me to get a um a KTM 990. It's either an SM or a Super Duke. And uh I'll put a quick clip in here. In oh shit, my shifter's gone again. Fuck's sake. Ah. I have to pull over and fix the fucking shifter. God damn it, this fucking bike's pissing me off. Well, guys, this is fucked. The bolt has actually fallen out, even though I locked tight it. I don't know what the hell's wrong with these. I locked tight it in place last time, but I haven't got any spare bolts or anything on me, so I'm gonna have to shift <laughs> by hand. And hopefully when I get to, get to the KTM shop, they'll hopefully they'll have a bolt that I can have. Or if not, I'll have to stop at a hardware store somewhere. So, this will be fun, won't it? I don't know if I can even do it properly, can I? Okay, it's in neutral. Oh, I really... This bike is just... It doesn't like me, I think. Alright, so how the fuck am I going to get it into gear? Alright, that's in gear. Don't know what gear. <laughs> Luckily, I'm only 13 minutes away. <laughs> like a hand shift like those retards on the old-fashioned Harleys. <laughs> the bike is now stuck in third gear. So I'm having to pull away from these lights in third or maybe fourth, I don't know. Because, yet again, the fucking shifter has um, screwed up. 
So I'm having to, can you see that? I'm having to hand shift, just pulling this bloody shift rod. So yeah, <laughs> every time I ride this bloody thing, it, it pisses me off. So it is definitely bye bye CBR. And hello, KTM, probably. Or Ducati, or well, there's lots of shit I'm looking at, but KTM's one of my favorite brands, so. Yeah, we're going to check it out now, see what it's like. All right, I can see an orange sign. That can only mean one thing. KTM in the house. Alrighty, there it is. Let's check this bike out. That was a reasonably good bike. I um, handed over my business card and uh, basically lied and said that I'm interested in buying this for a customer of mine. So can you give me a discount for like business to business discount? <laughs> so the guy was like, oh yeah, yeah, we can do that. So he immediately um, gave me a price of 400,000 yen and w within that he'll include a um, valve valve train uh, you know the valve adjustment because that's one of the things that KTM's you kind of have to be careful about uh, I think it's a I think it's at 12,000 kilometer interval and that bike's knit got you know like um, 10,000 and something so it's almost almost time for it so yeah he basically said yeah we'll do the, the chain um, not the chain the cam blah. Jesus, why can't I get the right words out? He will do the valve lash or shim adjustment and he'll sell it to me with, uh, still got vehicle inspection, but only for a month. So 400,000 yen. So basically I would have to uh, get the inspection done myself like in a month's time or something. But yeah, the, overall it seemed like pretty decent. The, the, my previous KTM's like all the bolts tend to get all really shitty and rusty pretty quickly but this one was pretty good the only bad point I could see with it was um, the chain was like super old a bit like the CBR was when I first got this it was all super rusty and like a disgusting color so yeah I need to change the chain I guess but this rockets themselves look fairly new so yeah be, be worth giving it a clean up I guess get some of that super duper clean uh, chain cleaner on it and see if it will restore it back to health but otherwise yeah I would have to buy a new chain so yeah that's um, one to think about the only trouble with that bike is uh, it's a hundred thousand yen more than one of the the super dukes I got my eye on on the Yahoo auctions so uh, yeah I, I don't know if it's really worth paying an extra hundred thousand just for the design like the engines the same anyway I quite I kind of like the styling of the Super Duke as well so yeah I just got to think about that but anyway this bike is um, temporarily fixed the bloody shifter bolt came out again almost every freaking week and so I found a hardware store with a little old lady running the place who sold me uh, a perfect size bolt m6 16 mil bolt for five yen <laughs> a whole five yen then i fitted it and she gave me a spanner to <laughs> tighten it up and then afterwards i started to leave and i was like actually can i have another another one as well just in case something happens on the way home so she gave me an extra bolt <laughs> so 10 yen to fix it but it's only a temporary fix because the um the threads inside the actual um, aluminium part are, are fucked so yeah riding home now I'm having to stop every like 10 minutes or so just to make sure that it's still tight it must be a high vibrational point where that that's mounted but yeah the actual threads inside the aluminium are also buggered so that's not going to help so I'll have to 
take it take it off and re-tap it tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to fix it without having to oversize it it runs an M6 now so I'd hate to have to drill it and then tap it to like an M7 or something that would suck but yeah we'll hopefully get that all fixed tomorrow so now I'm just gonna ride home get myself a nice hot cup of tea because it's pretty cold today <laughs>